All right, guys, what's going on? So this is the uh, second video in our series, uh, kind of like an update, you know, what's been going on the last year. Uh, this video is about kind of like dealing with the spot market freight and kind of dealings with the owner operator this first year. Uh, yeah, it's been crazy. <laughs> So let's get started. What did Ashley say? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> so, uh, so when we first started, you know, like right straight from orientation, you know, it's advanced. You know, learning the spot market, and 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 I didn't really think there was going to be so many options. That was the thing. I was like, I thought, like I heard of the DAT board, and, and I heard of like the Uber, and one two three, yeah, and one two three. That that's about like the main ones I heard of it when I was at Warner. Then I get here, you know, we don't use one two three. Well, I'm sorry, I could use one two three, but I got to pay for it myself. But yeah, whatever. So. You know, I, I use the DAT board. You know, the Uber, JB Hunt, Convoy, Coyote, CH Robinson. CH Robinson. Um, oh gosh, what's the other one? There's the XPO. That's like, XPO is like kind of like, you know, your uh, kids. The kids are calling. Yeah, XPO. I think it's like a last ditch effort. Like, oh my gosh, I can't find nothing. Um, there's probably a couple other ones. You know. Trucker Paths got one, you know. So, so the first thing you know what I had to deal with was, you know, how, how to talk to these brokers. Um, you know, you know, you know, you know, trying to you know work with these with these different companies, and and I remember, you know, like before I even came to Advance. I was actually, I, I don't know if I want to put his name on here. I don't know if he was supposed to do it or not, but uh, someone gave me access to their dad board, you know, to kind of cruise around. You know who you are. I don't, I don't know if I should say it. I don't want to get you in, you know, so we'll just leave it at that. You, he has curly hair and he's oh, sexy. Oh man, don't, we've said too much already, <laughs> but I appreciate that, you know, not the sexy part, but, uh, um, <laughs> and, and the blue eyes, but you know that's uh, we're we're going off topic here. <laughs> but uh, he actually gave me access to his dad board, and, and I was able to like you know just kind of get a feel for you know you know what's going on, you know the different companies that are on the dad board. And, you know, I didn't call anybody. Actually, I think I did call some of them just to just you know I don't want to say mess with them, but just see like how a conversation would go. But then you know I, I think you know like. <laughs> like the first one I called, I remember, I can't remember the company, but like the first thing they asked me, like, what's your MC number? Huh? Uh, 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 oh man, I can't find it right now. And then they just kind of, oh, don't, don't worry about it. So what are you looking at? So I was able to get just kind of, I don't want to say BS my way through it, but I guess that's what you want to call it. That's what we did. But so after that, I was like, I think I made like maybe one or two more phone calls after that. I was like, okay, we're not going to do this, but, but I was able to just just to kind of scroll through it and, and it's different between working on the laptop and working on your phone you know just the 15 day average and it just it's just endless and endless and endless you know just it just it, it's crazy and on top of you know me trying to learn these and trying to explain to her you know which i am a visual learner i am not a learner that I'm not somebody that you can just throw information at me and I grasp it. Like, I need you to show it to me. And so, he was getting frustrated at me because he's trying to talk to me on the phone and tell me these things. And I kept asking questions like, what is an average? What What do you mean 15 day average? What is an MC number? What is this? What is that? And he would just go, you know what? I'm not Never talking mind. no more. I'm not doing this no more. And so he came home and he got out his laptop and he showed everything to me and I was like, oh, 
he's like, why did I try to talk to you on the phone about this? And I was like, I don't, I have no idea. Like, the, the, the one thing that has been, I can say has been constant this whole year, and, and Provost had to tell me a couple times, and he still, he, I talked to him the other day, and he told me again. My whole thing was like, I get, you got to figure this out. Yeah, I got to figure this out. The spot mark. You're not going to figure this out. Once you think you figured it out, it, it just, it changes. It changes. So the one thing I've learned um, is the one thing about trucking business or the trucking industry is there's nothing constant in the trucking industry. It's constantly changing. And when you think you have something and you're like, oh, I know how to do that. No, you don't because the rules change or this changes or that changes and it's so it's you know I remember I was talking to maybe provost or snore lord I was talking about like the 30 minute or, or like I didn't understand like the clocks and the, and the breaks and stuff like that and, and he's like oh don't worry because it's going to be changing here in a little while and I was yeah, just like I still don't understand and he's like don't worry about it because it's going to change and I was like okay Right. <laughs> like there's one constant thing that's annoying, but it's it's never gonna go away. You know, I'm just gonna use an example like for this weekend. You know, I, I don't I don't need to say like which you know click and go app it was, but you know anyway, there was a load that went from Dallas, which where we will be Friday to unload. And obviously Friday, you're trying to find something to get yourself through the weekend. So I found a load that went, you know, from Dallas to West Palm Beach, Florida. No. Yeah, that's what it. That's what it said. Oh. Then you call them. Then it's oh, there's a stop in College Park, Georgia. Then you can go to West Palm Beach. Uh, well, then that that changes everything, you know. So so I put a I put an offer in, and you know. I, I'm, I put an offer in for thirty four hundred, and I knew that I probably wasn't going to get thirty four hundred. Not coming out of Dallas right now. Dallas hurts right now. So, I, you know, like a couple months back, you can do that, no problem. But now you can't. You know. But anyway, so what they told me was that you know they, they put my offer in, and in, in the same breath, she's telling me, "I got your offer in, but." There's already someone that has an offer in for 28, 26? At first it was 25. 25 or something like that. I'm like, well, that sucks. I'm like, you know, they're definitely not going to touch, you know, they're not going to touch my 3,400, you know. So I'm like, well, just give it to them, you know. And they're like, okay, you know. So I just left my bid sitting there. So that bid sat there for the next day. So I called her back and I said, hey, what's going on with this? Well, they still have the bid. But they, they what what they do? They upped it to twenty eight. Twenty eight. So now it's at twenty eight. Someone has the lowest bid at twenty eight. And I'm like, is there really someone that's no, the thing? That was yesterday. Today yeah. You know, yeah, today it changes. But but I'm thinking yesterday, is there really is this some of the tactics that they do? Is there really someone that has a bid for twenty eight and they just want me to come down to say twenty seven fifty just to take you know, beat their offer, you know? So come today, the, the 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 guy or woman or whoever it was that had this bid in, oh, they backed out. Yeah. So now we have the lowest bid. I have the lowest. No, I I, it, I she said that they're not going to take my bid for thirty four. So then I said fine. I said put me in for thirty one. And they and they came back at what twenty. I think back to 26 or something like that again so i was just like come on and you know so i'm just gonna wait till tomorrow but this is that's some of the stuff that happens you know if, if they really want to push it you know and lock it down you know they'll, they'll give me the money but you know they know it's, it's also tuesday wednesday and it doesn't get picked up till thir- friday afternoon they got time and, and i understand it but some you know, in my mind it's like just give me the load so i know i'm good for the weekend you know I guess annoying. I know. I'm sorry. That's all right. But, you know, that's just some of the things that we, you know, struggle. I mean, there's been, you know, times where it, it doesn't, you know, that doesn't even affect it. You know, it's like, you know, you, 
you know, I put bids in from Indianapolis or Dallas again that's going to Florida because obviously, you know, we live in Florida, so yeah, I'm constantly going to Florida. But you know, you put a bid in going to Florida, boom, two seconds later, they, they accept your bid. Well, heck yeah. Well, then you're like, ah. Oh, I should have, you know, instead of giving them an offer of 34 and they took it, I should have said 37, you know, just just to see what I can get. But, you know, you just don't know. You just don't know what's going to happen. But dealing with the spot market has been a struggle. You know, you know the one thing that was kind of getting me by, and it took me a while to get over it, is like when, before I, ca I came on, it was, you know, you got to know your rate per mile. You got to know your rate per mile. Then when you're calling these guys, these brokers and the, you know you're you got all this crap laid out and 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 like no one's even close you know it's it's almost rare for something to happen that like it actually do, oh yeah that'll work yeah no you know but I, I i got you know provost did a, a video sometime a while back and it was he was talking other ones have done it but his video just kind of sunk in more you know, I want to say he dumbed it down, but <laughs> yeah, it was basically, you know, rate per mile versus rate per day. And uh, I'll find that video and we'll, we'll put that up there and you need to check that video out. And it, it's, it, you know, the man's not dumb. He knows what he's talking about and it, and it makes sense. Then after that, it kind of clicked. It's like, it's kind of easier, you know, and, you know, I know what I got to have per day and for me, it's easier if, like, if I just, if I take a, like, a pickup, deliver next day, pick up today, deliver to tomorrow, I'm sorry, you know, I need so much per day, well, say I can't get that, but, you know, I'm coming, you know, I'm going into a stronger market that I can make up for it, you know, but for me, it, it doesn't matter, like, what you get Monday, what you get Tuesday, what you get Wednesday, at the end of the week, that's what matters, you know, for me, you know, for us, for everything to work, I know what I need at the end of the week. There's been weeks where it doesn't happen, you know, then you just have to try to make up for it next week. That's all you can really do. I mean, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about like, you know, you know, once we got going with the spot market and actually here we are, owner operators now. That's this is where trying to put the spot market and the owner operator thing together. Everyone work together. Cohese, cohese. It's more like, yeah, maybe some of it's gonna work, you know. But it's nice when everything comes together. Oh, it's it's freaking awesome. <laughs>